What is up, y'all? Que onda, raza? How have y'all been? Honestly, it's been a long ass time since I've made a video, but today we're just gonna be doing a halo eye with some glitter, and I'm just going straight into my eyebrows with the Anastasia Dip Brown, the color dark brown, and I'm just gonna fill in the areas where I don't have hair and just shape it to my liking. Oh my god, guys, funny story. My sophomore year of high school, I let this girl shave my eyebrows, verdad? And she was over here swaying, que me iba a dejar viendo bien chula, que sabe que no hombre que me veo en el espejo, me chingo bien bonito, my eyebrows stayed looking like a dental floss, like it took me a whole last two months just to regrow them, shout out to Denny. But now I'm just going to go in with the shave tape concealer and I just carved out my eyebrows and just cleaned them up a bit and I used the professional primer on my eyelids just to prime them and then I just put some more concealer on top and I just blended it with my finger as you guys saw because I feel like when you blend it with your finger it just adds more pigment and then I just set it over with translucent powder so that the shadows blend in nicer and then I just went into the Morphe palette that I believe it's a 3502 and I just went into that soft brown color you guys saw me grab and I'm just gonna blend that into the crease and just blend it upwards Alrighty, now I'm just gonna go into that orangey color and I'm just gonna blend that right on the crease and just blend it in with the other brown. But this time you're not gonna bring it up, you're just gonna concentrate it more on the crease. Now I'm gonna go into that dark brown color, it's like a chocolate brown. And I'm just gonna go in with this detailer brush and start building the halo eye. I'm gonna start at the outer corner of my eye and just start buffing it and packing it in. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing with my inner corner and kind of bring it in, but try avoiding getting the product in the middle of your eye because that's where we're gonna add the glitter later. So just try to focus it on the outer corner and the inner corner. Okay, now we're gonna add the glitter. Honestly, those glitter bases don't work for me at all whatsoever. So I just use regular eyelash glue. If it works for you, hallelujah, homegirl. But honestly, it just doesn't work for me. So I'm just gonna add that right in the center of my eye and kind of fade it out. And then I'm just gonna pack in some glitter. This is the holographic one. I got this from bullglitters.com. Honestly, you guys should check them out because the glitters are so cheap and they're so like high quality. Like it looks like you have like Pandora on your eyes. Like you guys should really check them out. And they're only like 99 cents. So what's up? Okay, now I'm gonna go in with that detailer brush again. I'm just using that dark brown color that we use in the outer corner, and I'm just gonna blend that in with the glitter. And sorry if you guys can hear the background. My little sister over here is watching La Rosa Guadalupe. But yeah, we're just gonna blend that in and just make sure it looks all clean and crisp and like just smooth out. Now for the lashes, I honestly don't know what brand they are. They're like some anime brand. I don't know. Like they look like some Dragon Ball Z, Naruto type of shit. Like I buy them from the store next to Walmart called Beautiful You. Like if y'all live in San Jose or near here, like check them out because they got some pretty dope lashes. As you guys just saw, I just moisturized my face with some oatmeal freaking like avena type of lotion and then i just went in with the benefit professional and i just filled in the areas where i have the largest pores and now i'm taking the sc lauder this is like my go-to holy girl foundation and i just mix in the color tawny and honey bronze i believe i'm not sure i'll link it down below but i just mix in those two because Either I'm too white or I'm too dark, so I just want them both to get the perfect shade.
Okay, now I'm going in with the shape tape concealer again. I'm just going to fill in those little head eyes and just highlight the areas where I want to hide dark circles and just dark areas. And I'm just going to blend that in with the back of the Beauty Blender that has foundation just so that it doesn't look too white. Now using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, I'm going in with that banana color and just setting underneath my eyes. And later I'm just going to go in with the bronze color, like the medium brown color. And I'm just going to use it to contour and just carve out my cheeks. I'm going to go into the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I just use that for my nose because it's lighter and I'm just going to contour it. Now going back into the Shade and Light Palette into the banana color, I'm just going to use that to clean up under the contour so it looks more sharp and more defined just to make it look like you have more cheekbones y estás más delgada y toda la cosa now I'm just gonna go into Champagne Pop by Becca and I'm just gonna highlight the high points of my cheeks a little bit on the bridge of my nose and then just in my inner corner so that my eyes look a little bit more open and not so damn chinky. Alright guys, honestly, like, they just smell so good. They smell like licorice, like, oh, it just smells so good. But I just did a combo of three to get the perfect shade that I wanted, like a brownish red. And then after, I just went in with some mascara on my lower lashes. I was using the, it was by the brown Mary Kay. Honestly, I don't know. You know how, like, there's moms and tias that sound like, que Mary Kay, que Jafra, yeah. I think I bought it from this lady from my work, but... That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys on the next one. Please, please subscribe. Leave comments on what you guys want to see next. And please give it a thumbs up. Thank you.